G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing and thanks for your interest in a Christmas Island adventure. Our adventures begin at Christmas Island, which is an amazing fly fishing destination. We can chase bonefish, trevally, you can even duck outside and get tuna, sailfish, it's literally got everything on offer. We stay at Icari House because it is literally the best accommodation, the best boats, the best location and the best guides on the whole island. It's an amazing experience that as a fly fisher, you just have to do. I'll show you a few things of what you will achieve on your week as well. With Christmas Island's vast array of, of sand flats, we, we get around usually on boats of various sizes and the traditional uh, style is probably one of the most comfortable boats to get around in and they can get into very shallow water. It's just a stunning location at Christmas Island and no matter which way you look, they're just stunning colours and waters. Um, it's just incredible when you see the blue sky against the various types of greens. It really is just an idyllic place to spend a bit of time. You know, there's a couple of ways to find bonefish on the flats of Christmas Island. One is just to really slowly walk um, very quietly and you will see the bonefish generally feeding up current. The other way is to get to a nice little area which will essentially have a nice little channel or something run through it and the fish will treat that as a highway. But trust your guides because they know where the fish are going to be on that particular tide. You'll notice a bit of sign language you've got to learn before you come here. Big strip, short strip, get it in and worry about another fish. Yep. Uh, once they realise that they're not in control, and they just go back in that other direction. Christmas Island, they do uh, uh, their week-long trips because there's only, at this stage, just one flight in and out per week. And so I'll fly from Fiji, drop us off here, and that plane continues on to Honolulu. Yeah, nearly. Now he's here. Nice one, eh? Yeah. Beauty. Beauty. That's wow. a That is, eh? You, you will struggle to see, but through the back there, that is just massive, isn't it? That's a, wow. that's a, that's a thumper. That's a thumper. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got it? Yeah. Right, there we go. So we've got one, we've had the teasers. <laughs> going there, and we've had a couple of fish come up to them. So you've got to just rip those teasers back out, and then that fly's got to get down there. This one, you've still got plenty of go. Whoa! There he is! That is amazing. That's a belter. Absolute belter. Yep. All good. Okay. You right? Yeah. Oh, I've got a hold of it. Yes, he's got it, and he's got it, and he's got it! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. 20, we'll go 20. You always exaggerate, Simon. Especially, round yeah. yeah, round it up, never down. Anyway, we'll put him back. Thanks, mate. A ripper, absolute ripper. Very good. Thanks, mate. That's him. Yep. Yep. Doesn't know he's hooked yet. If Simon. Right, now he's. Oh, gee, gee, that power. You've got to love these trigger fish. Just incredible. Yep. They've either got to be strong or fast. And some of them are both. Yeah, they're, they're, they're targeted because they, you have to, they're so cautious. And everything's got to be done properly to be able to get them to take, you know. Well, that lovely trigger. Good job. Good it? Job. Mustachio. Yeah. We've got the little moustache there. Very good. He's a, a thumper. Right 
Swim. Come on. Come on. One is. Yeah. That's it. Oh, no. There we go. And that's uh, that's tuna fishing. And then we get it on to there. And and it's amazing how quickly the backing comes out. And he's only a little one too. But they're just powerful fish. I mean, it's just incredible power. The only thing he hasn't got written is TW Sharon on the uh, the side of that. And he's pumped up to full pressure. Just anyway, just rip it out there. Yep. Let it sink. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good. There we go. Come on, mate. <laughs> This is milk fishing. This is not bad, eh? No. Very, good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. They're, they're up feeding on the surface, and that's what gets a lot of like fly fishermen excited. You know, their backs out of the water. Focus on that, but just essentially it would look like a little bit of uh, weed or scum. And that's what does the trick. Yeah, so. Nice little uh, Christmas Island milk fish. He's probably about 15, 17 poundy. Hard to, there's a little bit of guessing involved. Oh, Island, because it's so far away from everywhere, has well, there's 19 different species of birds, but some are only found at Christmas Island. Thank you. situated in London which is right where the boats are stored so it's very fast to get on the boat when you get on, onto the water which is where we want to be. It's an ideal setting uh, to have a look at that every morning once you wake up. The meals are fantastic, the guides are terrific and the rooms are very clean and very cool at night which is very important. We also have a bar so if you get thirsty at any time there's always somewhere to get a drink. So I carry it's pretty well organised where you know exactly who you're fishing with, who your guides are, what time you're leaving, what boat and what you're going to target, whether it be GTs, milk fish, bone fish, or even outside. So you know exactly where you're going, who you're with the night before. Well, that's just some of the things you can achieve on one of your Christmas Island adventures. It's an amazing experience that you just have to do. 